uh, born with my foot and hand turned in. I had to wear braces as a child. And um, when I was four, I, I begged my dad to get out of them. I wanted to be free. I guess I've been traveling, and I love being free. I've still been that way. Never stopped that. When I hit first grade, I was told by my teacher that I would never be able to read or write or communicate or mount anything or go very far. So I ended up uh, making it through school by asking kids questions so they could help me when reading because I didn't know how to read. I didn't read till I was 18. So I ended up eventually dropping out of school. I had it hung out on the streets, lived the streets. Eventually made it to California to surf at a place like this. It was Huntington Beach, California in 1968. I hung out there at the beaches. I remember this place. And then I ended up making it to Hawaii. So I was basically, I wanted to ride big waves. So I'm sitting here at uh, Bondi and it's bringing back some memories. But I, I, I wanted to ride the North Shore, I wanted to ride big waves, and I wanted to be a surfer. But I wasn't taking care of my health, and I wasn't taking care of my life, and I wasn't valuing myself 100%. Ended up nearly dying. Not from the surf, but from the things I was doing, the lifestyle. And luckily, a lady found me in my tent, nearly dead, and led me to a little health food store and started to get me back on track. And that led me to meet a gentleman at a little talk one night named Paul Bragg. Paul Bragg was a pioneer in longevity and health and wellness. And one night, one message, one hour, this one man got to me. And that night, it was the first time in my life I ever believed I might be intelligent and that I might be able to do more than what I was doing. Not that I didn't love surfing, because I love surfing, but I just thought I could maybe someday do something more. And that was the night I saw a vision of doing, traveling the world and being a teacher and learning how to read and being intelligent, doing what I'm doing today.